Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I will be sharing with you about reproduction in plants In particular about pollination and fertilization And also, in this video, I will use the blue pea flower To illustrate the two concepts So let's talk about pollination So in pollination as we understand, it is a process where the pollen grains from the anther of a flower enters the stigma of a flower. So let's have a closer look at the blue pea flower. I've just opened up one of the flower and amazingly in the process, some of the pollens actually dropped on the petals. So if you can see over here, there are some fine specks of uh, white dots those are the pollens which, is, which has just dropped from the anther so I'm going to open up this flower a bit more so that you can have a better look there we have it the anthers and for this flower you can see that there's a stigma in the middle I'm going to pull the anthers away so that you can have a look at the stigma closer Alright, so you can see that there are some enters around and right at my index finger there's the enter there. Okay, so that's where the pollen have to land and enter into the ovary of the flower to form the fruit. So how does the pollen grains enter the stigma? Plants have to rely on a few agents of pollination. So for example, using insects such as butterflies and bees. Some plants uses wind whereby the pollen is being brought or carried by the wind and it will land on, in, on the stigma of another plant or another flower. So there are many ways. So what happens when the pollen grains have entered the stigma? If you can imagine, the pollen grain would enter the stigma and travel up, travel into the ovary of the flower. So this is a close-up look at the stigma and the ovary. So you can see that the stigma is a long part of the flower which is in, in the inside the flower and at the bottom of the stigma you will have the ovary it is not necessarily something that is uh, round but uh, probably sometimes it's a bit ovalish okay um, yep and we can actually compare it with the fruit itself well it is, this is a small uh, blue pea fruit so you can see that the shape of the plant or the fruit sorry is longish which kind of resemble the ovary of the flower itself so once again in the reproduction of plants pollination have to take place and from pollination you will have fertilization so pollination is a process where the pollen grains from the anthers enter the stigma of the flower we have one stigma here and another stigma over here and then it will travel down to the ovary where it will then produce it will fertilize and will become the fruit itself okay so pollination and fertilization Thank you so much.